Hello Internet, and welcome to your crash course on PGA Tour 2K23. In this video, I'll be going over all the major changes to PGA Tour 2K. I'll be discussing what the first 30 minutes to an hour in the game will look like for you. I'll also be giving you my advice on what to do to set your golfer up on the best path towards defeating Tiger Woods at the end of career mode and beyond. So without much further ado, let's get into it. But as always, give the video a like, sub to the channel, and thank you for watching. Unity. So once you've gotten into the game, you've created your golfer, you've maybe gone through the tutorial, you will no doubt go to the My Player menu and you will see the biggest change in the newest installment in PGA Tour 2K, which is this skill tree. Clubs in the game now are purely cosmetic. You can use any club you like. Each club does not have different stats anymore. All that is now found in fittings, but we'll get to that later. As far as skills go, I am still figuring out kind of what everything means and what all these skills do. Ultimately, once you reach level 50 and you're capped at level 50, you'll have all of your skill points that you can use, all 50 of them. And in each different category, you'll see that the max level makes it so that the skills that you've picked for that certain club become passive, which means that they're always active, which is huge. But it also means that you really have to put some thought into what are your weak points in your game? What do you need to put skills into? So as you're leveling and as you unlock these different tiers of skills, my best advice would be just to look through each of them. Think about how that affects your game. Is that something that you're bad at? For me, as you can see, I've put most of my points into putting because definitely the worst part of my game is my putting. And I know that. <laughs> So I put a lot of points in that, especially into short stuff, which if I make two putts at any time from within five feet, that it activates a putt path boost uh, while I'm on the green, which I very much need. But again, as you're leveling up to 50, just put skill points wherever you'd like. Once you reach level 50 or really at any time, you can reset your skill points. You can see that right below me and you can do these skills all over again. So as you're leveling, getting level 50, don't worry too much about, well, is this the meta build? Is this what I'm supposed to be doing? Just look for skills that you think would help your game. And once you get to level 50 and you've really gotten a good feel for the game, you can reset, do this all over again. The first thing that you'll want to determine once you get into the game, once you've created your golfer, is what kind of archetype would you like? There's greensman, who's good around the greens. His strength is putting, his weakness, recovery shots from the trees. We have powerhouse who hits it far but it's really hard to time up his swing, so you're not gonna be getting great tempo a lot of the time. You have Rhythm. Rhythm is a golfer who always has great tempo, but just doesn't hit the ball very far. Sculptor does really well with shot shaping. They're just really bad with distance control. And Woodsman is great at getting out of trouble, but their weakness is putting. For me, and in general, I think Rhythm is the way to go here. Even with 60 power right out of the gate in this game, you're not gonna be hitting the ball that short. Your driver flies about 274. Your irons are pretty stock distances for any golfer, really. And I think it's the easiest path towards really grooving your swing in this game and getting a feel for it. I think if you go with powerhouse that you'll just be hitting way too many slow shots, way too many fast shots. And this game is already hard enough as it is on most difficulties. And picking powerhouse just makes it even more difficult. So I know you're wondering, well, how do I hit the ball farther? How do I get better at this game if I can't just buy new clubs? That is done through fittings. For each club in this game, you're gonna have and unlock different fittings for every single club you have. And as you can see, I've unlocked a decent amount of these already, but they break down into a fitting for the club head, a fitting for the shaft, and a fitting for your grip. And each category affects different things in your club. The rarity and how big of an impact these fittings have on your attributes is determined by the color of the fitting. This orange rarity is the best in the game, followed by purple, then blue, green, and gray. But you can see for grip that grip mainly deals with your timing, swing path transition, shaping, lie range, and it doesn't have a huge effect on power. Shaft deals more with power and every other stat, and fittings for your club head deal mainly with power, swing path, shaping, a little bit of lie range, but not so much transition or timing. So again, fittings for your, your golfer, I'm sure that in general, there's gonna be some type of meta build that you wanna max out this stat. You wanna have a 100 timing or 100 swing path or transition, something. Someone will figure that out. But in my opinion, because as you start playing this game and getting into it, you will figure out what you struggle with. For me, it was timing. And I think that there's a huge premium on lie range as well as transition. 
as far as hitting good shots and more consistent ball contact out of any lie. For me, I think it'll just take time to determine what the weak parts in, in your game are and what you want to improve with your fittings. But if I had to give a top three for what are the most important stats, in my opinion, probably first would be swing path, then timing, transition, and I would put lie range right underneath transition because having more consistent power out of heavy rough or light rough is gonna be huge to help you score out on the golf course in this game. And the last thing here for the crash course is the first thing that you need to do in this game if you wanna unlock clubs, if you wanna unlock clothes, is you have to get into career mode and start your career. I started at the Q School Finals, but if you just wanna start on the PGA Tour and go from there, that's totally fine. My career is the main way that you're gonna unlock all the cosmetics in this game that you want. There's a pro shop that you can use your money to buy clubs and clothes and whatnot, but you're gonna need that money for your fittings. I haven't even talked about golf balls in this game. Golf balls and golf ball packs are something that I need way more time to look into and figure out how those work and how those affect your game before I really make a judgment on them. That's why I did not go over them at all. I haven't used a golf ball pack yet in this game. I'm just getting used to how everything feels without that. But the easiest way to unlock all the clubs, the clothes, the golf balls in this game is through career mode. Just play in tournaments, beat your rivals, level up your sponsorships with each company. I picked my three favorite brands in the game, Mizuno, Nike, and Titleist to level up first. You can see under each of them what that entails. Don't use your in-game currency as we call it, your VC, your virtual currency. Do not use your currency on stuff from the pro shop because you will need it for your fittings because fittings cost currency. Each club is like 25 or 50 VC each to fit. And as you figure things out, you're probably gonna be doing a couple different fittings as you unlock fittings and figure out what's best for your game. And for the most part, VC in this game comes at a premium. It is not as easy to get as you may have remembered from PJ Tour 2K21, where I think we all ended up with like 200,000 VC, like it was nothing. So that is my cross course for PGA Tour 2K23, just to get you into the game, just to get you having started fun playing. I will be coming up with more videos as we go along and get deeper into PGA Tour 2K23 with what kind of builds you maybe wanna go for, what the general meta build for a golfer is, and a ton of other stuff with PGA Tour 2K. So again, thank you for checking out this video. Thank you for watching. If you can drop a like, subscribe to the channel, I appreciate it so very much, and as always, Stay safe, work hard, be proud of yourself, and above all else, please be lovely people. Because other than that, all I gotta say is I'll see you in the next one. Peace.